Hi guys, welcome back to Piper vs YouTube channel where curiosity meets the code. Today we'll be discussing regarding Python vs MicroPython. So let's get started. Firstly, we'll be giving an introduction of what is Python and MicroPython. We'll have an overview of Python, then an overview of MicroPython. Then we'll be studying uh, the differences between Python and MicroPython, and then the similarities between them, limitations of Python and limitation of MicroPython. So what is Python? So we know that Python is a high level interpreted programming language known for its readability, simplicity and versatility. It was created by Guido van Rossum in 1980s and it was released in 1991. What are the features of Python? Firstly, we have readable and expressive syntaxes and then extensive standard libraries. Then we have cross-platform compatibility and then large and active community. Now, what is MicroPython? MicroPython is a lean and efficient implement of Python 3 programming language optimized for microcontrollers and constrained environments. What was the purpose? It was designed for embedded systems, IoT devices and situations where resources constraints are a critical consideration. What is the history? Again, developed by Damien George and it was first released in 2013. The key traits include lightweight and efficient, runs on microcontrollers with limited resources and then we enabled Python programming on microcontroller based projects. Next, what is a Python? We'll have an overview. Firstly, it is a high level language. It is interpreted, object oriented and dynamically typed. And we have readability, emphasizes on code readability, reducing the cost program maintenance. And regarding versatility, it supports procedural, object-oriented and functional programming paradigms. Then we have cross-platforms, it runs on various operation systems. Next, we have key features. We have readable syntax of Python, clear and expressive syntax that emphasizes readability extensive standard library, a rich set of libraries for various tasks, reducing the need for extensive coding, community support, large and active community contributing to its development and support, dynamically typed, variables are dynamically typed, providing flexibility in coding. Next, what are the use case? We obviously use it in web development such as Django and Flash frameworks for build building web applications then we have data sam it's widely used for data analysis machine learning and artificial intelligence and then we have automation we have scripting and automation tasks making it popular choice among the systems administrator and we have game development this is used for developing 2d 3d games such as by, uh, by using pygame library and then we have desktop GUI application where GUI development with tkinter, PyQt or Kiwi. Next we have the popularity uh, Tubo index regularly ranked among the top programming languages and we have GitHub and Stack Overflow highly active on GitHub repositories and a large number of questions on Stacks Overflow. And then we have wider spread use. Obviously, we have industry adoption adopted by the tech giants like Google, Facebook and Dropbox and education wise. We are widely used for technique in programming due to its simplicity. Next, regarding MicroPython, we know that MicroPython is a compact implement of Python 3 programming language designed for microcontrollers and resource constrained environments. What was the purpose? tailored for embedded system and IoT which is Internet of Thing devices and it was developed by Demi George and first released in 20, 2013. Like what was the purpose? We have resource constraints environment which is developed to operate efficient environments with limited resources and we have microcontroller focus which is designed specifically for microcontroller based projects. Now, what are the targeted application? It includes firstly embedded systems. It's suitable for a wide range of embedded systems. Then we have IoT devices optimized for the unique demands of IoT applications. And then we have the sensor the networks, which is ideal for application involving sensor networks and data acquisition. Then we have lightweight nature, which is reduced footprints, compact application for 
minimal memory usage and then we have effective execution. It is designed to run efficiently on device with limited processing power. Next, we have compatibility with microcontrollers. There's a wide range of microcontrollers compatible with various microcontroller architectures. And portability, MicroPython can be usually ported to different microcontroller platforms. What are the benefits of using micro, uh, MicroPython? Firstly, we have simplicity. It retains the simplicity and ease of using Python and we have interactive development. It supports interactive development, facilitating rapid prototyping. And then we have rapid deployment. It accelerates development and deployment cycles in resources contained scenarios. Next, what are the use cases for MicroPython? We have rapid prototyping, which is quick development and testing in IoT and embedded projects. And we have education learning program in the context of microcontrollers. Now, what is the difference between Python and MicroPython? Firstly, we have resource consumption. Python, it is designed for general purpose computing, may consume more resources. MicroPython optimized for resource contained environments offering lower memory and processing requirements. And then we have standard libraries. Python just has a very rich set of standard libraries for various applications. Whereas MicroPython, it's subset of Python standard library due to the size constraints with a focus on essential functionality. Next, what about compatibility? Now, compatibly, Python is a wide range of platforms and operating system, whereas MicroPython, primarily designed for microcontrollers, lim limited compatibility with desktop and server environments. And then we have language feature. Python is full language feature and syntax. And uh, MicroPython is stripped down version, may lack some advanced feature present in Python. Next, we have similarities between these two. Firstly, the syntax is similar. Both Python and MicroPython share the same syntax, making it easy for developers to transition between the two seamlessly. And then we have core language features. They share the core features of Python language, including the data types, control structure, functions, and object-oriented programming. Thirdly, we have interactive development. Both support interactive development, allowing developers to test and prototype code interactively in a REPL, which is a real evil print loop. Then we have community and documentation. Python and MicroPython benefit from active communities and extensive documentation providing resource for learning and problem solving. Then we have ease of learning. We have development. Developers familiar with Python can quickly adopt to MicroPython due to their shared language structure and principles. Sixthly, we have portability. Code written in Python can often be easily adopted for use with MicroPython, prompting code reuse and portability. Next, we have open source. Python and MicroPython are both source open source project fostering collaboration and allowing developers to inspect, modify, and contribute to the code base. Then we have cross-platform compatibility. Both languages exhibit cross-platform compatibility, enabling developers to write code that can run on different operating systems with minimal modifications. Then we have object-oriented programming. They both support object-oriented programming, paradigms enabling developers to create modular and scalable code. Next, what are the limitations of Python here? So we know performance limitations may be Python may not be performant as low level languages like C or C++ for certain computational intensive tasks. And we have Python is a versatile interpreted nature can lead to slowly execution speeds compared to compiled languages. And then we have global interpreter with lock, which is GIL. Python has a global interpreter lock, which can hinder parallel execution in multi-thread application and context. This limitation may impact the performance of the CPU bound task in multi-threaded programs. Next, we have memory consumption limitations. Python applications may consume more memory compared to languages like C, making it less suitable for memory constrained environments. 
and the, then we have this can concern for certain embedded systems or devices with limited resources and four we have mobile development the limitation while there are frameworks like kiwi python is not the primary languages for mobile app development developing resource efficient mobile apps might be more challenging compared to languages like java or swift next we have limitation of micro python firstly being library support micro python may lack full compatibility with the extensive python standard library users may need to rely on a subset of libraries which can be constrained for project requiring specific functionalities and then we have performance trade off micro python prioritizes efficient on microcontrollers but this may result in lower performance for certain tasks compared to python on standard computing platforms then we have optional for microcontrollers but may not match the raw processing power of a full python implementation next we have the community size micro python has a smaller community compared to python and a limited community support and resources compared to python although the community is growing fourthly we have advanced features some advanced features present in python may not be available in micro python and developers may need to adopt their coding practices for the reduced feature set so that's it for today if you have learned something from this video please do like share and comment down thank you